to a floor equation, I want to start out by briefly uh, reviewing this floor notation. So let's look at the floor of 4.1. Yeah, the floor just means to chop off the decimal part essentially, okay? Get rid of the fractional part. Now I'm just using this as an example of the floor 4.1 uh, equals floor 4.9 and they both equal to 4. Now this is something you can just by inspection see but we almost always we need a formal definition when we're dealing with you know a function in this case so uh, this is equal to 4, but notice that that's totally consistent with the definition above since 4 is uh, 4 is using using the right hand side of this definition right here 4 is uh, less than or equal to Four point one, and you know, I'm just going to cram this together the lazy man's way. Four point one, four point one, and I'll put a comma here so I don't have to write it down again. Four point nine, and that's strictly less than four plus one, which is five, right? So again, notice how that completely lines up uh, with the definition. And y'all basically, these two numbers are stuck in an interval that has a length of one, okay? And that leads to this, this observation that the floor of two values, probably different values, is equal if and only if the difference of those two values is less than one. Now, I put absolute value here. We are looking for positive uh, integer solutions, so we don't really have to worry too much about the absolute value bars here. And also, x over 9 is greater than uh, x over 11, okay? So uh, anyway, this is just some very, fairly routine algebra here. We're getting x isolated in a less than or equal to sense right here. And again, we're just appealing directly to, uh, you know, we're using these two functions, x over 9 and x over 11, which are contained in the floor notation, the square brackets there, okay? And we're ensuring that the distance between those two values is less than 1, okay? And this is just the algebra that leads to that. So we get that x is less than 99 over 2, but 99 over 2 is certainly not an integer, but 98 over 2 is, okay? So 98 over 2 would fall in this interval. Okay, 98 over 2 uh, is the first integer in this interval, and 98 over 2 is equal to 49. So you see the 49 is our answer actually. All right, because uh, we're just looking for an upper bound to the solution set. So let me put 49 right here. Okay. Now I went ahead and listed all the possible solutions. These are all the pos positive integers or natural numbers. One all the way up to 49 are possible solutions. But this would be the answer to the question right here, 49. Now, an upper bound for any type of problem is, uh, is a nice idea, I mean, a nice thing to have because it, it, it kind of limits your search for solutions. If you have an upper bound, a least positive integer upper bound, you know when you can stop. You can try all the numbers exhaustively up to 49 and then, and then write, write them down and know you're done after you've reached 49. Okay, now let's just look at a couple of examples. Um, Here's our original equation. Now notice here that uh, 49, I'll pick the very last number. It's a possible solution. Let's see if it is. Uh, 49 uh, over 9. Okay, and then we'll do uh, the floor brackets. I don't know what you call those folks. The floor brackets, we'll call them. Okay, so 49 over 9. Okay. And then uh, right here we have 49 over 11. Okay. Yeah, this isn't really part of the problem. I'm just, we're done with the problem. 49 is the upper bound, but I'm just giving you an idea how to use this. So 
49 over, so 49 divided by nine is five and four ninths, right? So this is actually equal to uh, five here, right? Okay, again, y'all, nine times five is uh, 45. Then you have a remainder of four. So it would be uh, 45 and four ninths, five in, uh, excuse me, five in, in five plus four over nine would be, would be the value. So uh, the, the floor would be five. Now right over here, this would go in, what, four times? Okay, four with a remainder of five again, is that right? No, this would, yeah, but, but anyway, this, this would go in four times 11 is 44, 44 and five elevenths, right? So four would be the floor right here, right? Okay, so y'all, that is a not equal, it's a not equal. It was a possible solution, but we've just shown that it is not a solution. Now let's look at another number, maybe, what do you want to do, try 25 maybe? So let's try 25. So let's do 25 over nine. Floor brackets. Okay, and then let's do 25 over 11 over here. Again, y'all, I just arbitrarily picked a number less than 49, a, a natural number less than uh, 49. Now here, let's see, 25 divided by nine is is a, leaves, is, is a quotient of two, right? It's two times nine plus seven, right? So the floor here would be two, right? This would have to be 27 before it would reach a floor of three, right? 27 divided by nine would give you three. So 25 over nine definitely has a floor of two. And also 25 over 11 has a floor of two. Two times 11 is 22 with a remainder of three, right? So this is, an, this is a solution. This is one solution. We don't know how many solutions there are at this point, but we do know that all we have to do is check. All we have to do is check all the way up to 49 to get a complete set of solutions. All right, folks, hope you enjoyed.